Now, how does somebody get ready for something that's going to happen tomorrow? It's not really tomorrow. It's all in the vortex and it's all now and it's all in the process of becoming. And your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to everything you want and where everyone else stands in relationship to what they want and to what you want and how to put it all together. And when you are in the receptive mode, then you're just in the right place at the right time, receiving the thoughts that all fit together. There are so many who would call that coincidence or just and a coincidence. We would call it a coincidence. It's a co-creative incidence. In other words, it's when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and so are they. And so the world is awash with those like you who are looking for cooperative components. And sometimes they're in the receptive mode and sometimes they're not. And sometimes you're in the receptive mode and sometimes you're not. But you could be in the receptive mode so much more. You could be experiencing so many, many more experiences where you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. And what's drifting into your experience is not drifting at all. It's being deliberately calculated with precision that non-physical understands. With the same precision that keeps your Earth spinning in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets. We're not kidding you at all. You are cared for beyond our ability to describe it to you with these words. We just want you to know that you've created a vibrational reality that is ripe and ready for you. And with just a little bit of decision to quiet your mind enough that you can eliminate or alleviate the vibrational clutter that keeps you from being in the receptive mode. So all of these processes that we've written to help you move up the emotional scale. Processes when you're in despair to help you move up to at least revenge. <laughs> Feel so much better than despair. But what we really wish for you is that you could every day sit for 15 or 20 minutes and find something that isn't very important to think about, like the dripping of a faucet or the ticking of a clock or the counting of your own breath or watching the flicker of a flame, something that requires a little focus but not enough to distract you much, where you focus until you feel your own detachment from the vibrations that bind you, your own detachment from the things that hold you in a state of dissatisfaction, your own Thoughts that roll around in your mind all day, every day that come to you so naturally by law of attraction. It's not happening because you're inappropriate in any way. It's not happening because you've done something wrong or because you don't deserve to feel better. It's happening because law of attraction is the master of momentum and your vibration is where you last left it. And so if you've been having an argument with someone or if you are at war about something, if you've been watching television and you're pushing hard against something, then you have an activation within you because a thought is only as powerful as your habit of offering it. And your habit of offering it is all about the momentum of law of attraction. So that means those thoughts that make you feel bad when you think them, stop thinking them, all right? We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> So, but you can't just stop thinking that thought, can you? You can't stop thinking that thought because you're thinking about that thing you're not going to think about while you're thinking about not thinking about it. I'm not going to think about that anymore. 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 And it just gets bigger and bigger the more you're not going to think about it because you're thinking about it even though you don't want to think about it. Law of attraction won't let you let go of it. Ah, oh. deep doo doo. Law of attraction won't let you let go of it. So you've got to think a different thought. But the thing is, when you've got a big raging thought and you try to think of the thought in the opposite direction, if you could do it, it would just rip your head off. You can't, the momentum would be very hard on you. It'd be like a train going 80 miles an hour that way. And then suddenly going 80 miles an hour that way, it wouldn't be good for anything in the train. And so it doesn't work that way, but you can begin thinking other thoughts. So we've suggested things like when you go to sleep at night, your momentum stops. And when you wake up, you do have a window. It's about two seconds, a window where you can choose a different train of thought, but you usually don't you usually wake up, look around, get reminded about what is and go right back to that vibration pattern. But if you would decide that you're going to set aside early in the day, we think is better 15 or 20 minutes, not more where you can quiet your mind. What will happen as you quiet your mind is that you will feel a detachment from everything that you've had going on. And after you do that for a day or two or three or 30, what happens to you is 
you reset your vibrational frequency. You put yourself in the vicinity of the receiving mode and you begin having days unlike any days that you've ever lived before because you've asked for it and it's already been given. And now you have found a viable path, a viable key to the receiving mode. At first, you'll wonder if you're getting anything done. At first, it will feel hard to empty out your head because the law of attraction keeps wanting to bring things back into it. But if you will just sit there, just softly, don't beat up on yourself, just breathe again, focus upon your breathing, let yourself feel the detachment from these thoughts. You will find yourself in a very short period of time in alignment with who you really are. And in that alignment, now here's the thing, when you first get in alignment with who you really are, it is logical that you would now know all that you know. That's what's going on here with Esther. She's in alignment with all that we are and all that we know now is accessible to you and to Esther from us. She's in alignment. The momentum is there. But in the beginning for you, even though your alignment is just as extreme as Esther's is now, your ability to translate, your ability to receive, not quite yet up to speed, maybe. And the momentum of that alignment, not quite up to speed, maybe. So at first when you meditate, that's why you don't really want to do it that much is because it's not very satisfying because it's kind of like nothing for a little while. No thought. And dear hearts, you know, you'd rather have a negative thought than no thought. <laughs> because you like momentum, you like feeling like you're getting stuff done. But we want to sort of do a sales job the other way just for a little while and help you to receive personally the benefit of no thought. The benefit of no thought is that you can find that mindless place where law of attraction can help you then to come into alignment with your inner being. And if you're able to stay there for just a little while, what happens is that momentum of that no thought will become greater and greater until something will occur to you. Esther's laughing because when she sits to meditate, often those first thoughts that come are images or ideas about silly things like moving furniture around. She thought, maybe I should work on world peace. <laughs> nah, I'll just move my furniture around. <laughs> because that was something that she could receive. You see what we're getting at? Now, it doesn't take very long when you allow yourself to just receive whatever it is to realize, and this is the thing that we want you to know. This is the key to your success in this. And oh, we can tout the benefits of it all day long, and we usually do, and we think you get that. But this is how you know that you are in the receiving mode and that it's of benefit to you. You feel satisfaction in being there. And that satisfaction might just feel like ease and calm. Or it might feel like off the wall enthusiasm. And ease and calm is perfect alignment. And off the wall enthusiasm is also perfect alignment. But what's the difference between off the wall enthusiasm and that feeling of peace and calm and ease? It's just momentum. So if you get there and you allow yourself to stay there, law of attraction will bring you more and more and more and more momentum. And so those vibrations at first will be feelings. They might even be images for many of you, but they will be satisfaction if you'll just try it for a week or so. You will feel satisfaction. And then if you keep it up, oh, then you've been meditating, you receive that feeling, and now your thoughts are beginning to flow. And now your timer goes off, Esther sits a timer because she really doesn't want to give more than 15 or 20 minutes to this. Sometimes it takes 14 minutes to get there, depending on what's going on in your mind. But then if you begin the day like that, what begins to happen is through your day, you will begin to notice better timing than you've ever lived. More ideas coming into your mind, more ideas occurring to you. And you may be tempted to say, oh, I thought the best thought. Or you might say, I had the best idea. And then in time, you'll begin saying, I received the best idea. I'm in the receiving mode because your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to everything you want and knows, and here are the operative words, knows 
what your path of least resistance is to get you there. Which means your inner being might give you the idea that you want to move some furniture around. Even though your inner being knows that you're going to move the furniture around with someone who's looking for what you know. And your inner being also knows that you might want a sort of comfortable opening, getting to know each other because you're a few decades older than they are. <laughs> what would be the path of least resistance? Your inner being knows you've got a music system that you don't know how to run. Your inner being knows how to run it. So your inner being gives you the idea, wouldn't it be nice to know how this works? Your inner being gives you the enthusiasm to be patient enough for the first time in 10 years <laughs> to sit and play with the knobs and buttons until, whoa, who knew? Who knew? All that music in all those places all at once. Esther was high for 24 hours. <laughs> so were her neighbors. <laughs> and then delivered right into Esther's grasp a rapper a real rapper a real rapper with heart as big as any has ever seen and desire as big as anyone will ever hold with a pathway to exactly what he's looking for what do you want to talk about lots of good stuff in this room Quite a lot of trouble. <laughs>